guys, uh, welcome to another weekend adventure vlog. The hair fever is absolutely killing us both this morning. I've woke up like crying and like snot dribbling down my face. Um, so hit, hit thumbs up if you hit hair fever. I think you can thumbs up in the name of hair. I think that's all right. Um, last week we did a channel trailer for the um, for the channel. We were away with work, so now put a channel trailer together, and it's really good. Like I really love it. I think it's my favourite video so far. Um, it's just like a mashup of everything we've done before and it just sort of puts into perspective how much stuff we've actually done this year um, and gets me real excited so now we are heading to Corey's house in Beverly to go and see her and Ali and see her little kitten who is real cute we've already met him he's been a bit poorly so hopefully he's picked up a little bit um, but we're off to go and see them guys and then I think we're gonna, are we actually going to Suabi? Yeah, I think so, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, and then we're going to Suabi, to, is that, what, what was it, Suabi? Uh, Suabi House and Gardens, but also there's like a little zoo there too, so we'll probably just walk around and look at some goats and see big house, look at the beach, because it's right near the sea. Yeah man, but it's a beautiful day anyway, so I don't think there's a way we're not going to enjoy ourselves. No. So we'll see you soon. Your claws have definitely got sharper, buddy. Yeah, they are. Why are you standing on his head, buddy? <laughs> Go on, lad. Uh, fun story from the last time we were at this penguin enclosure. The last time we came, we saw two having sex. And then after they'd finished, he like hopped off and they had a little cuddle and he put an arm around it. It was real nice. <laughs> Penguin pooing is probably one of my favourite animals to watch poo. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently this is a raccoon dog. But it just looks like a regular raccoon to me. No, it's not got big like tender eyes, is it? Dunno. Yeah, it doesn't look like a thief. They've got little thieves masks on, haven't they? <laughs> what a show off. Peacock attacks one, I'm gonna be so mad. <gasps> yeah, look! Oh, well, it's all kicking off here. I'll miss the jumping and kicking it. I will! That's how you didn't get that on video. I mean, I'm a recording. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think the internet will be on your side with that. Yeah, look how short the grass is on the inside of the pond. Like from... What is he doing? He's <laughs> stretched out like Superman. <laughs> Good afternoon, um, today is a different day and we've come to Spurn Point, I'll put like a little picture of Spurn Point on a map for you so you sort of understand why we've come here, it's like the edge of Yorkshire nearly isn't it I guess. It's the edge of the UK. Well yeah, yeah the edge of the UK, so um, we couldn't have picked a better day, it's absolutely beautiful weather, um, it, I'm absolutely dying because uh, I left my sunglasses at Nat's grandparents yesterday so I can't actually see anything. <laughs> um, but yeah, we couldn't pick a better day for it. Um, it was a lot further away than we thought it was going to be. Yeah, it took ages um, to get here. Yeah, it was like windy roads the whole way, so it took us a long, long time to drive here, but it's definitely worth it. It's absolutely beautiful. So I just told Nat I thought it was going to be really far. And uh, then we came around the corner, and that's it. Uh... 
that over there. And uh, I didn't even think of it that far. So, um, yeah, yeah. We had our warmer vans and we brought like half a bottle of water with us. I ain't got any sunglasses. So I didn't even know you could get jellyfish near Hull, but here we are. Some jellyfish washed up on the, on the beach. We officially just entered the danger zone. The gods above have saved us. Found some and water. We found some water. Victory's ours. That Nothing can stop us now. We're very happy because it looked pretty bleak there for a minute. Yeah, it was literally like walking through the desert. And um, it's bad. a real nice lady offered to give us some money to buy a drink, and we politely declined. Oh, Which real mad. I was like, you should have taken out money. <laughs> is, in hindsight, it was probably a bad idea. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because we found a tap and we've refilled. So, And we're real close now. Really close. We made it to Spurn Point. Oh. I don't know if you had to see in the camera, but the water is real weird. It's really like fast flowing here. And like flat and then all of a sudden it's just like yeah a bit choppier so that's just really cool this is it this is what all this walking has led us to do you think it was worth it We're at the end of yorkshire it's worth it this is as far as you go though you get to the end of yorkshire and then you turn around because there's nothing after yorkshire <laughs> We're starting the long trek back to the car. I'm a bit more excited about this leg actually because there's a picnic in the car. Yeah, there is. <laughs> oh, it's taken us like two hours to get here. Um, and I just looked at my Fitbit and we've done 14,000 steps. So that's what we've got to look forward to on the way back because we didn't do anything before we came. So. Yeah. Only 13,498 left to go. <laughs> We're back at the car. Thank you. Jesus. We just uh, absolutely wolfed down a picnic because that took so much longer than we anticipated. Like. <laughs> so we've just ha had a picnic and we're going to head home now. Yeah. We did 17 kilometers. Don't know if you had to see that, probably not because it's on my face, but that's a lot of kilometers on foot. Yeah, especially in a pair of vans, like all my joints are just buggerooed. Yeah. We're hanging out now, so we're literally gonna go home and get tea. But she might think it's a bit greedy, but we missed lunch and that's not like us, so <sighs> we're not about that missing mealtime life. To the supermarket. <laughs> So on that note, we will take you home with us. Okay, so we literally got home and crashed and just ended up sleeping for like a couple hours. Because um, I think that was just way more of an endeavour than we ever thought it was going to be. So much more. And we, we didn't wake up till 9 o'clock last night. <laughs> we got out of bed at 9 o'clock yeah. and like made tea. <laughs> we didn't get tea when we got back like we said we were going to, we just died instead. But we both got really sunburnt. I have like horrible like where that shirt was just like a pizza slice on my chest in my defense though mine's just from like not i just missed a few areas yeah. whereas you just were didn't even put it on well i did in some places like i did what mikey did in mykonos and missed my armpit <laughs> <laughs> and also the bottom of your foot's really sore as well isn't it yeah look at that like we literally thought we were going to be like walking like what like a couple of miles max yeah like two miles i thought yeah we walked what are we walking the end 17 kilometers did we say yeah 17. which i don't know what that is a mile that's like eight or nine miles or something probably that's my phone on google ten and a half miles so we walked ten and a half miles oh and we had God. no idea we were going to be doing that wow just in like flat shoe vans with like we set off with like half a bottle of water as well like we nearly died didn't we because it was getting pretty bad we did like half of that without like 
with only half a bottle of water yeah. and we didn't know that when you got to a sperm point there was a place to get water. So for all we knew, we would have walked like 10 miles on half a litre of water when it was like 27 degrees. That was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it was stupid. But it was really nice anyway, it was really good, really good trek out. Yeah, we're home, we're safe, it's another beautiful day outside. And yeah, we have a baby, a baby bird stuck in our garden. Yeah. We're not really sure how we got there. And when we got home, where's the note? So, when we got home, we came for a nap and we heard the doorbell go. We didn't answer it because people often get confused with our doorbell and upstairs' doorbell. So we didn't get up um, and then during the nap I heard the doorbell go again and again just didn't think anything of it, just ignored it. And then when we got up at nine o'clock I um, went to the front room to find the cat and there were turtle had got out of the tank and was stuck between the window and the tank. <laughs> was just stuck there. And then this morning when I went, oh I was going next door to see about putting the bird in the garden. Um, but there was a letter like saying, hi, just to let you know your turtle's stuck. <laughs> so God knows how long he'd been there. Yeah, stupid. stupid. So the animals have gone crazy, we're sunburnt. Um, that's about it, isn't it, I think? Yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah, so uh, if you enjoyed the video, go down below and give it a thumbs up and leave a comment and say what you thought. If you want to see any more. Um, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the notification button so you get a little pinger on your phone telling you when we made a new one, which will be every Sunday, as ever. And that's all, isn't it? Enjoy yourself. Peace out.